It's a brand new day, a new awakening amongst Nigerian youth. Some perceived as lazy Nigerian youths, and a lot more, uh, and a lot more are being all they can be by unnecessing their talents and manifesting a true music and other means. Sure, you're wondering what I'm all about. Well, this is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where good energy and vibes come true simultaneously. I have the yin to my yang to bring to your screen the one, um, the biggest entertainment stories and analyze them for you. What's good? Hi. How's it going? I'm all right. How have you been? <coughs> I'm okay. I'm getting ready for the weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, Are you ready for today's show, though? Yes. Mm. Are you I sure? Am. I mm. am. Indeed. You know we have to be of our worst behavior today, though. I, th I think. I, I think so, Abby. Yeah, we should. There's no good behavior allowed. With yeah, the vibe we, that we can't we're... have manners, right? Mm. We can't. No, are you ready? I don't know. Should we give them spoilers? Should we give them spoilers? Should what we? do you think? No, you, you tell me. Do you think <laughs> we should? Let them, let them just. See it when they see it. All right. So um, let's just um, talk about one story before we let the cats out of the bag. Okay. So, yes, um, the first story is um, on um, Iyabo Ojo, where, who says that um, she's being threatened by uh, on social media after she revealed the threat message was sent to her for supporting the now hijacked NSAS protest. The actress disclosed this in a social media post she made on Wednesday, November 4th. According to the mother of two, the, so this she wrote, so this morning I woke up to a message from a friend in the media. He said, someone sent this to me. Now, if you are close to Yabojo, advise her to calm down. Smart celebrities who have brains don't take on government. So I was somewhere and her name was mentioned. The threat message uh, are now threatened. Are we now threatened to silence? She asked. Um, what do mm. you think about this? I mean, it's not brand new information. I think we had that conversation. When I saw that Mo's passport was seized, mm. I knew that we're all not safe. So if you have influence or if you gathered influence because of the protest, because I'll say someone like Mo now, she wasn't necessarily a celebrity, but her impact with the NSAS movement made her really popular. And uh, someone like Yao Bojo, who already had that popularity, mm. have, um, you know, um, what's it called, participating in the protest, obviously, will be a lot more noticeable than maybe someone like, an, like an average person. Right. So I'm not really extremely surprised that such a thing is happening. However, that she she he heard something. What did he hear? And how is this Her a name baseless? Came up. Yes, is this a baseless thing? Because there's a lot of people. Is it clout chasing as well? Yes. Uh, I mean, even if the person actually heard something, yes, it's possible. But like, from who and from what and what comes out is of it? It, it could really just that be that you they heard it from you and I think I don't like that you're you're about your person. I don't know why she's getting so involved. Yeah. I hope she's smart one. Well, she's not getting like that, so involved, you know? you know. And it could be a politician, but it doesn't mean the person is even in charge of um, looking into affairs yeah. like that. So yeah. So I mean, I'm not trying to um, what's it called dampen the idea of a threat mm. but i think to me the message in itself wasn't that scary i wouldn't mm. really take it too seriously but the more concerning thing for me was the was, was her caption when she said um are, they, are we not supposed to be silent we not to silence? Uh, yeah we're not threatened to silence i think that's the most important thing and i think the, that message is also trying to silence her i mean even if you're a celebrity it doesn't mean that you don't have a right to mm. um, call out your government that basically governs your entire life and your children's life as mm -hmm. well like just because you're a celebrity doesn't mean you don't have a right to do that so i think that question for me is a lot it's something I, we need to start um, asking that is this democratic um, nation really a facade like is it legit do we actually have the freedom of speech to call out people are we allowed to actually be the you know the the um the the people the uh, community that can hold their government accountable because that's what democracy stands for is that legit is that something that they've lied to us that we're, we're, that we're, we're allowed to do but technically speaking we're actually not allowed if not i don't think she's done anything wrong and she shouldn't be threatened and her name shouldn't be coming up in weird places at all Oh, well, I, I'm, I'm of the same chain of thoughts and um, I just hope she's safe and I just hope that all the celebrities are actually safe, especially those that have been actively involved because it's been alleged that there are, it's been rumored that there's a blacklist, yeah. right? Where a lot of people have been blacklisted from traveling and a lot of people are being watched and monitored. So I just hope um, this is not the case. I just hope um, it's all a, a rumor at the end of the day because um, the government have denied it and they've mm. denied so many things and, and contradicted a lot of things as mm -hmm. well. So we can't really hold them accountable, like you said, but um, we just hope the celebrities are safe and God be with them. But we will be right back to time. We'll go on a short break.